and your <gasps> Elkin John. Oh, I'm Clark, your number one biggest fan. Love the entrance gang. Annual just in time. I need to get my precious piano to the top of the tower for the show. But it won't fit in the elevator. Can you lend me a hand, though, with my piano? Oh, yes, we can. No! Oh! Fix force. We gotta find a way to get this up there. Without your umbrellas, it's time for a brainstorm. Okay, what do we got, people? Rockets. Go on. Rockets go fast. Yes? Rockets go high. Ooh, tell me more. Rockets are awesome! We attach the piano to a rainbow rocket and pow-pow, blast it up! <laughs> Love it! I really like your rocket plan. Pow-pow, meow! Yeah. It's working! Yeah. Oh. It's not working. This calls for a more gentle approach. And I kinda think that I'm rising up like a balloon in the wind. Like a balloon in the wind. I think I know just what we need. A giant ramp! All we have to do is push the piano up. Yeah, they're pushing me up, pushing me up. Pushing me right up to the top. Now I'm sliding back down, sliding back down, sliding back down to the bottom. Oh, it's too steep. With no way to get Elkin's piano to the top of Blunderbird Tower, will the concert have to be canceled? No! Don't worry, Sir Elkin, sir. We'll think of something, won't we? Chico, what do we do now? Well, we... maybe we could... Uh, maybe it's time for a banana break. Ow. Who are you? What you want? Mr. Herb, it's the Fix-It Force. We are here to solve your not-so-hot cocoa problem. Of course. Sorry I snapped at you. Without a cup of hot cocoa in the morning, I, I just ain't myself. No problem, Herb. I'm the same way before my first banana. Now, where's this cold cocoa? Right here. Normally I would heat it over my campfire, but now there's no fires allowed. On account of them tumbling tumbleweeds. Ah, this problem's no problem. See, we're in the desert where it's hot. If we leave your cocoa out in the sun, I'm sure it'll heat right up. This thermometer will tell us when the cocoa is hot and ready to sip. Cocoa is getting warmer, but Chico, I don't think the sun is going to get the cocoa hot enough. Oh, I'm getting crabby. When I get this crabby, I start howling like this. Oh, 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 oh! Hey, you got anything with more power in that there belt of yours to heat this mug up? You know something? I think I do. Coco, you've been cold for a while now. That's about to change. Because this monkey makes waves. Microwaves. Yeah! I call it the micro microwave. Small enough to fit into my belt, powerful enough to heat up the coldest cup of cocoa. Now, where can I plug it in? Plug it in? There ain't no plugs out here for miles. Wah, wah. Fix it, Force. Get out your umbrellas. It's time for a brainstorm. Ideas. Talk to me, people. When I want to make my food hot, I add hot sauce. Well, Clark, hot sauce is spicy hot. We need temperature hot. I got it! Oh, it's the thing that always warms me up. A bedtime story and a warm blanket. All right, Fix it, Force. It's story time. <clears throat> James and the Giant Peanut. Once upon a time, there was an elephant, and James lived happily ever after in the Giant Peanut. The end. Uh, well, Clark, what a refreshing story. What's our thermometer say? Oh, still colder than a polar bear's toes. <coughs> oh, peanuts. We've got to engineer something to heat up this cocoa fast. 
Herb is getting crabbier by the minute. Oh, and snappier. Uh, maybe we need something with more heat. Something like... A hot, hot dance party! Huh? What's hotter than these moves? Yeah! Dancing does produce a lot of energy, but it's movement energy. We need heat energy. So let's engineer something that changes one kind of energy into another. Okay, people. Yesterday was Taco Tuesday. Ooh, still good. And today is Wicked Wednesday, where we show off our best stunts. Rainbow, what do you got? Check out this totally rad, totally gnarly, triple trampoline skate flip. Tiny's turn. She's gonna do a super bouncy big shot. Okay, we're ready for some Clark Crobatics. Okay, I'm gonna slide down this here slide and jump over that there titty pool full of chili. Sounds stupendous. This calls for a drum roll. Oh, oh, I almost made it. Oh, that's good chili, though. You know, Clark, you could have made it over the chili pool. How? If you started higher up the slide, you would have gained more speed by the time you got to the bottom. It's called acceleration. Show them, Tiny. I want to try that again from the top of the slide. <laughs> bananas and this tennis racket to go. The banana phone. Chico Bonbon, bon, you got a problem? We can solve them. No, Chico, I do have a problem. Let me guess, Mayor. You got a leaky floor? No. You got a creaky door? No. You need a kiddie pool full of chili? Mmm. No! We've got skateboarding hamsters! The fuzzball bunch! Oh, they're skating all over our city hall, making a huge mess and talking their crazy skater talk! Fuzzball Alley! Fuzzball Grind! Fuzzball Bucket! You called the right monkey business, Mayor. We'll help you with those little skaters. Fix it, Force! It's time to bring the awesome! Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to Light Night, Blunderberg's favorite light and music show. Tonight's performers, the Fix It Force. Yeah! We've got Tiny on music, Clark on lights, Rainbow Thunder doing cool kitty tricks, and Chico Bon Bon with a brand new dance. Oh, I hope you're enjoying all this wind, because tonight's show is sure to blow you away. Oh, my hair! Oh, my beautiful hair! Looking great, everybody. Just about time to light it up. Hey, Jerry, can I get two mics? Get them right here. Uh, hi there. Who are you guys? You asked for two mics. That's Mike the Squirrel, and that's Mike the Pig. Two mics. Um... Here are the two microphones, Chico. And because you said you wanted to see a bunch of fans tonight, boom! Did the Thunderheads deliver, or did the Thunderheads deliver? I was sort of talking about fans of the show, <laughs> you know, like the audience. <laughs> so you're saying we didn't deliver? Oh, no. no, 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 these fans are great. You never know when you can use a good fan. <laughs> the Thunderheads delivered. <laughs> Clark, how we looking? Almost there. Tiny, play me a little something. How does everything light up like that? Electricity. Electrical energy, to be exact. Those lights in Tiny's guitar, they need electrical energy to work. Tiny, show them where all this energy is coming from. One very large battery. This baby's got all the electrical energy we'll need for tonight's show. And it's courtesy of the Dunderheads. 
like we say. What could possibly go wrong? Yay, energy! Hey, that's what I was gonna say. Oh, showtime in one minute. Chico, quick, what's your new dance? No, oh, I call it the windmill. Check it! Monkey moves ever! Oh, yeah. All right, team, let's light this town up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to rock with the Fix and Bars? <laughs> Hello, gang! Elkin, that was quick. What's your big problem? My piano's got a flat E-string. And it needs an oil change. That's right. It's multifunctional, gang. It's a piano and a car. Wow! wow. Listen, while I'm getting my piano tuned up, can you take care of Bernie? Bernie? Who's Bernie? Oh, he's so cute. But Elkin, watching a dog? That's not normally the type of problem we solve. Oh, but I also need you to figure out what's wrong with Bernie's leash. Whenever we go for walks, he always wiggles loose and I can't figure out why. A leash that needs a redesign? Now well, that's a fix it force challenge. What do you say, gang? Up for a little doggy sitting? Oh, oh, oh you're just the cutest little doggy ever. Look at that little nose. <laughs> I think that's a yes. Thanks, Chico. Be back this afternoon. Bye, Bernie. Kisses! Come on, Fix It Force. Let's get up and go. For a walk. Chico Fun Bomb! Rainbow Thunder! Lark! Tiny! Bernie! Well, he looks happy enough. And it looks like the leash fits well. Not too tight, not too loose. And you're so cute. Then let's go for a test walk. Maybe the leash fits fine when he's still, but not while he walks. Uh, where's Bernie? Oh, bananas! Fix it, Force. Follow that dog! I'm Neil Ostrich, your beak on the street. Reporting live from the Museum of Really Fragile Things, full of treasures that are as breakable as they are beautiful, like this little gem. Whoa. Sorry, Neil. Whoa. Nice egg. Spread out. We have to find Bernie. Mr. Dunderhead, there's a dog loose in your construction site. Uh, I think I'd know if there was a dog loose in my site. <laughs> Come back, Bertie! We'll use automation to make an automated pizzerito maker. It'll be just like the Dish Tour Deluxe, except with pizzeritos. We can use a conveyor belt to make a machine that performs each step in our assembly line. It'll make the food all by itself without ever slowing down. Just hurry. I think the customers are getting hungrier. Many of us in line are still without a pizzerito. And the hangry meter continues to rise. I'm getting hangry. And when I get hangry, I stomp my foot. When I get hangry, I clock like a chicken. Ah! <laughs> oh, when I get hangry, I sing the news. Waiting in line is such a pain. And the weather forecast says it's gonna rain. Ow! Don't worry, Lemuretties. We'll solve your problem in a jiffy job. <laughs> Lemuretties, may I present your new automated pizzerito maker? Fill it. Roll it. Melt it. Scoop it! Wow! In record time! Hmm, it looks like a pizzerito. 
Hot smells like a pizzerito. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> but it doesn't taste like a pizzerito. Why not? It's been pooped all wrong. We can't serve these. We've got to serve something. Betty, can you reboop it? Uh, I can try. Boop. Now that's a moi. Okay then. Betty will do the boops. Pizzerito on the brain. Driving me insane. Levels are returning to normal. And while it may have been maddening, everyone agrees these pizza Ritos were worth the wait. Thank you, Fix It the Force. You've solved another one of our food fiascos. <laughs> Bravo. Huh. Glad we could help with your pizza Rito problemo. And thanks to automation, now we have time to, oh, I don't know, have a pizza Rito race. First one to make a pizza Rito wins. I think I'll just have seconds. Oh. 